I miss, bro? Did I wake up to a new arc? What did Bo Mabu beef with Blueface? Blueface and Krishan have been making headlines recently for all the wrong reasons. And it appears Lil Mabu has now got himself involved in this drama with his diss song featuring Krishan directed at Blueface, which has been going crazy viral online. The song has 1 million views in just 24 hours and almost 100,000 likes, so there's a clear liking to this song itself. As for those of you that may not know, the most recent scandal that shocked the entire world was when Blueface posted obscene images of his own son on Twitter, where he made them public. The internet cried out for Blueface to be detained and for their kids to be permanently taken away from the pair. Which is why it's a perfect time for a diss song like this to drop, considering the status of the pair's relationship. The main reaction across social media to this diss song were, Blue is screaming, crying, shaking, throwing up, LMAO. Y'all lit with it. Yeah, that's hard. White boy rap better than Blueface, go TF off. Blue gonna hear this and start punching the air. And then tweet. The main parts of the song that caught people's attention is Lil Mabu's verse. I'm Mr. Take the BTCH, take her for a trip, fly her to New York, sign my name all on her TTS. Yes, I took his lady. I like blue faces, so I took his baby. It's pretty hilarious how out of everyone to hop on a song, it's Lil Mabu. The kid that just graduated college, and it's catchy and has that replay factor. So I wouldn't be surprised if this diss song actually does good numbers. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and turn on the post notification bell. This way you'll never miss out on any future celebrity videos similar to these. Lil Mabu also threw a shot at WAC 100 in the diss song, where he claimed he wasn't dissing Blueface and stated, And no, this not a diss, but I know WAC 100 ain't gone like this, cause he f CK with snitches and I don't like kids and he probably racist and don't like white kids. It appears that WAC 100's response was a post on Instagram where Krishan Rock was blatantly trying to set up Blueface and get him robbed and who knows what else. As from his post, she even seems to leak his address to the wrong person she's DMing. Although a lot of fans weren't taking WAC 100 plus Blueface aside with this, as the comments were filled with posts like, Krishan is still young, she still has time to grow up. She's going to make many more mistakes in life and learn from them. As an adult male in the industry, sir, you have one thing to do and that's the lead, sir. Believe me. Her and her child father are going to forever be connected. Sir Blue may move on to do different things in life, let the young people have their time, to support them along the way. Imagine being a grown man in children business, this shit's getting old. How can we mute all this drama? And following doesn't work, still find a way somewhere, somebody in their feelings about being dissed by her and a white boy. It'll be interesting to see if Blueface returns with the diss song back or he just lets it be. As the mass reaction is in support of Lil Mabu and Krishan's diss track, these past few weeks or months, Blueface has been dropping songs featuring Jaden Alexis with clear jabs at Krishan, but no one is really picking it up or talking about it. Considering it was only a few days ago when Blueface was in court dealing with a case he had against him from last year. Don't be surprised if he ends up doing something in response to this. Lil Mabu gotta be careful. Last night, both Krishan Rock and Lil Mabu were on Instagram Live talking about their diss song, and Krishan went off on Blueface. Whereas Lil Mabu was clearly trying to move on from the subject. He said, you gonna really let a white boy diss me? He ain't about it. I said, bro, you really gonna let a bitch diss me? That's you, you wrote the diss. You could have at least let the bitch write. That's why I was like, Mabu, write my shit, yo. Cause like, what the fuck? Mabu, are you in the lab? <laughs> I'm in college. What the fuck? What is he? What? I'm in college, though. Huh? I'm in co college right now. Oh, all right, cool. But I'm just like, they thought, they thought I was just going to be quiet. Amen. Amen. Babu. Look, I like your lashes. Your lashes look good, man. Oh, thank you. In terms of the recent feud involving Krishan and Blueface and how Krishan was stating he didn't even look after her when she was pregnant and all these other claims, Blueface responded on his Instagram story a few days back. I don't understand how this woman keeps like trying to make me seem like I didn't try to help her pay her bills prior. I didn't try to help her find a situation. I didn't try to help her plan for this baby. So this is what happened. Like I told y'all, she's been planning to do Baddie Z's. I'm thinking Baddie Z's will happen after the baby's born. She was like, no, they ready to gear up. I'm going to do it while I'm pregnant. I said, oh, man, you serious? You want to go on a 
WWE fight show while you're pregnant? The fact that Blueface and Krishan have a reality TV show together, documenting their life, goes to show you that a lot of what happens can easily be fake for entertainment and leading on the storyline. How about me and you playing a baby shower, we find a spot, we plan for the baby's birth. You know what she say? I need to get on the road and get to this money and that baby shower and all. So, she's like, I don't need to do none of that. I'm about to go get it. I said, damn. All right, big dog. Fuck it. So she goes on Bad Easy's. You know, I'm paying close attention. I'm watching. She's getting treated like a contestant on the show. Before their child was born, Krishan Rock and Blueface have always been embroiled in intense drama. And when Krishan gave birth to their child, the tension only became worse. At this point, it doesn't appear like the conflict will abate anytime soon. Even while their followers are attempting to reassure them that the infant is too early for all the turmoil, they are becoming quite concerned about the new arrival. These two don't seem to give a damn. Blueface is not the father of Krishan Rock Jr. According to the ex-boyfriend of Krishan Rock, Back in the day when Rock and Ronnie did date, things between them were quite tense, and they eventually broke up. A few months later, Krishan and Blueface established themselves as the new drama couple of the century. After learning that Blueface had revealed his son's genitalia, Ronnie Doe turned to Instagram to criticize Blueface, ridiculing him on this Instagram story for not being the father of the child, tagging Blueface and The Maury Show. Before we go any further into the video, what are your guys' thoughts on the Krishan Rock and Lil Mabu diss track? Do you think anything will come from it? Like a blue face diss song back? Or will he not just acknowledge it? Comment down below. However, supporters are already making connections and asserting that Ronnie Doe is attempting to gain influence by taking advantage of Blueface and Krishan Rock's current circumstances because they are always in the public eye. Krishan hasn't really addressed the allegations as of yet, and it's unclear when she will, given that she previously asked Blue to do a DNA test, which confirmed that he was the child's father. When Blueface was catching heat for his strange picture he posted on the Twitter, Krishan posted, Devastated. It's okay. Krishan Jr. and I will get through this sh and come out untouched or broken in the end. Who posts their son's for clout? Yo, this hurts so bad. So you happy to post our son's like, bro, is this legal? As a mother, do I call this in? WTF. Anyway, this concludes today's video. Be sure to subscribe to LoafTube for future celebrity videos. And turn on that post notification bell so you don't miss out on any future uploads. Until then, see you in the next one.